A Bass Geek here, and this is practice day one on Douglas Lake, brought to you by Nichols Lloyd. Yeah, I got a little pocket right here. Now, I ain't seeing no fish on the graph. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing right now is taking a little jerk bait and working it around this stuff. Probably gonna pick that spinner bait up here in just a second. Cover this, got a little bit of wind, a little bit of current blowing in. We'll see what the Nichols spinner bait can do for us. This thing's pretty damn steep. We're in 12 foot, and I mean, I am right up against it. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just 45 this bank. See if I can't get something to come up and show me its teeth. No, not so far. Not really. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right now, and I'm seeing some shad pop in here. So basically, what I'm doing right now is just checking I don't know if that was a hit or not. I'm just checking these areas. We're going to fish them pretty quick. Take a float worm and throw around that brush back there. But there's definitely some shad blowing in this pocket. I can actually see them here on the top. I don't know if you can, but there's a big black spot right there. Apparently I'm hitting some brush over there. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover some water up through here. All right, guys, we got a little pocket right here. Who knows, those, those large mouths get up in here. And this stuff, right now this cold front has just got them locked down. Ooh. Everywhere. Now these fish are supposed to be spawning. 
these are the summer spots I've got on this lake. They're gonna be out here. I'm sure we're gonna fish for them. What are you doing, Shane Hass? Well, I ain't caught any fish, but uh, I'm finding some good signs. I'm actually just graphing right now and have been graphing for a little while. It's, uh, I'm finding fish on all my damn summer spots right now. Oh, that's good. So, I mean, it, it kind of bum fuzzles me that they're out here deep right now. I don't understand that. I mean, they should be uh, spawning. But now there could, this could be a group that's already come out and spawned, you know? I'm glad that you found some. I mean, if they're on these deep spots, I'm gonna go around and see if I can't get some schools fired up. Yeah. And that's really gonna be my number one game plan. Cause if they're out here deep, that's sort of my song and dance, you know? But I know I've talked to two or three people and ain't nobody getting bit up shallow real real well. I don't know if this cold front has pushed them down. They're out here in their summer holes and that tells me this group's already spawned. They probably spawned back during the, the full moon. Or I mean the new moon. Mm -hmm. uh, the weekend that we was off of uh, Cherokee down there. All right, let's talk about conditions of the day. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is there's not a day one video. And the reason why is because I come out, I had full intentions of fishing shallow because we are in between spawns. It really warmed up on us, you know, mid to high 70s. And the first wave come up on the new moon two weeks ago. Two days ago, we had a major cold front come in. It was actually snowing at my house the day before I come down here. So that sucks. I'm sick of the cold weather. And you know, it ain't really warm right now. We've got a north wind blowing. It's, uh, you know, it just really stinks. It's been cold all day. It was supposed to get up to about 64, 65. Uh, it's overcast. It got down to, I think, the mid-30s. There was a frost warning last night. So that's kind of what we're having to deal with. And we're only about four days as of today, I think, four days away from the full moon. So everybody's kind of expecting these fish to move up and start spawning. Now, if it starts warming up, of course they will. You know, three before, three after a full or new moon, most of the time you're gonna get your massive waves then. But what what's kind of happening right now is they're just sitting there. Uh, everybody that I know that's fishing, and you know, we know how Doc Talk goes, but they're having a hard time catching the big ones, so. Um, like I said, water temps are sitting right at about, depending on where you're at, uh, up the river, it's 58 down, it's anywhere from 61 to 63. So, you know, water temps are right there. They actually took a pretty big drop compared to where they were, like even when we were out on the Cherokee tournament, which was two weeks ago. So, you know, that's about it. What, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna spend time really running pockets, uh, checking that sort of pattern out where they should be staging up and uh, trying to get enough areas to where we can put a limit together or get a pattern to where we can run enough pockets to put a limit together. That's step number one. Sorry guys, just got the camera on. Got the first one of the day. And he ate it. This is my Bass Munitions uh, Joey Special. Nice little large mouth. That is definitely a keeper. 
A little over two pounds, two pounds probably. There he is. Oh, he ain't even gonna bag him. He's just fine. There he is, guys. All right, boys and girls. We just caught our first two. And I'm going to throw right back over here. Because I just want to see. That was a small mouth. He ate it. Now, he followed it, too. I, he hit it several times before... He finally ate it. A little 2.2 Kitek on a Cumberland Pro Finesse. Throwing it on a 1 8th. So that's side by side pockets right here. Caught one, the first one, on a little uh, Bass Munitions. I forget the color. It was a color that we made after my buddy Joey showed it to me. Caught a big five pounder on top of Secret Lake P wacky rigging. And so I rig it up on, I was rigging it up on a uh, little uh, flick shake head, a little one eighth, and just kind of barely hopping it off the bottom. But I got a large mouth on it in the same type of pocket. And you can see kind of the transitions. You know, the large mouth are a lot of times going to fall back in these pockets. And so what I'm doing is, you know, we're not seeing any on the bed. So what we're doing is we're just kind of fishing these transitions. So rock transition to the kind of broken up slate rock. You know, you might call it mud, but they'll, that's where a lot of them will spawn. And so, both of those were deep. Now, the smallmouth, of course, is going to be toward the front of the pocket. Oh, you know, he's on something there. I didn't know what that was. I don't know what this is. There's no real grass in this lake it's probably a pollen sucked a bunch of just junk back here but we're just slow rolling this and I'm just going back and forth AJ has caught some on a Carolina rig a shaky head but down through here, I'm actually going to put this bad boy down. We're going to pick up that wacky rig right now. All right, guys. So, you know, let's talk about practice a little bit. You know, the thing about practice is, you know, you're not really out here to catch every fish. You know, what you're trying to do right now is just figure out what the fish are on and then once you find those sort of areas you know you're 
you may come in and fish them but what you'll do is you'll either use you know something to cover your hooks up if it's a crankbait something to uh you know basically oh no there we go something to uh, you know keep from hooking the fish you'll shake them off like with this i would just shake them off uh, i would since these are the first two pockets i've fished today what i'd like to do is uh is fish you know uh, catch one more because i've thrown two baits and i've caught two fish <laughs> And that's uh, that's not what you want in practice, you know. I, one fish is uh, is good, two fish is great, but when you're throwing it on, you know, trying to uh, figure out, you know, what bait they're going to eat on. The reason why I picked up that 2.8 Kitek was because. I seen in that first pocket and on some points some very small shad and I, I seen that yesterday too now guys there's no footage from yesterday because what ended up happening yesterday actually I'll show you some footage uh, is we actually spent a lot of time graphing uh, stumbled across some deeper fish yesterday uh, which really surprised me which it shouldn't surprise me for this lake to be honest really really what's going to happen is we've got a full moon this is friday right here and so what's probably going to happen is we've got a full moon tuesday night so these fish will you know realistically the second wave will begin to pull up and uh and start to spawn uh probably and there's one and that's all i need to see oh he come off but that's all i need to see he was a keeper that's all i need to see so now what did i say clockwork transition swing transition to the back staging area hate that i lost him he wasn't a huge one but that's two pockets and that's three fish so pretty much between me and my buddy we know we can run these and catch a limit so what i don't want to do because everybody else is doing the same thing is just beat these pockets to death so now i know what i can go catch them on now we've got a pattern all right so guys you know basically and i, and I want to be a little quiet because there are some boats around us but basically, you know, what we've found today is, you know, really two or three patterns. We found one area that we're going to start on, and uh, we've got a pretty good school on that area. So we're going to hope we can pull up to that, get a limit, hopefully even get a good limit. Uh, secondary pattern, you know, uh, probably is going to be... Um, you know just running a lot of pockets and those transition pockets that i showed you earlier where i caught those fish you know i fished two of those pockets and we caught three fish you know two on the wacky rig and and one on the um little 2.8 because they're chasing some really tiny fish in the backs of these pockets um aj has found some stuff out on some flatter areas what would you catch them on what would you get bites on uh shaky head uh, with the brush dog, baby brush dog on it, and then uh, a Carolina rig lizard. So, so you know, we've got two or three patterns going on. Uh, you know, I really think, because we've, we've heard a lot of guys talk about it, and, and I'm going to tell you one thing, never listen to Doc talk, you know, if you've got a group of friends that happen, but, you know, the sort of the pocket thing everybody's talking about, and we know we can go run that pocket deal and catch a limit and on douglas uh standard limit is kind of that 10 to 12. yeah so at least we we hope you know we were fingers crossed we're hoping that you know we don't something crazy don't happen now the bad thing is is that the weather 
is going to change on us tomorrow. So it's going to rain all day. It's actually going to be pretty warm. Going to be about the same temperature, about 66 degrees. Uh, sorry, we got a boat coming by. We're, I'm tr trying not to get into each other. <laughs> but um, yeah, know, it wouldn't be a more time rain without some rain. Yeah, so, that's true. It's going to rain tomorrow. 99 percent uh, chance. So yeah. It's happening. Starts at eight o'clock and rains. I think all the way through way in. All the way through way in. So. And then, uh, you know, but I mean, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up. You know, really, what we're going to do right now is we're really just going to go graph some areas that kind of look like that first area that we found and see uh, see if we can't find some areas. And what's great about that first area that we found, it's really it's a come or go spot. So it's a it's an area. Uh, in the back of a near the back of a pocket where they're going to stack up and and uh, they're going to pull up and spawn from there and they're going to pull back out and uh, hang out there after they spawn so all right that's about it guys i guess we will sign off for this video uh like i always say questions comments in the comment section below you guys know i love to talk about fishing with you uh like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe and as always you guys rock